video shows how to schedule a uh, recurring meeting using Zoom, a conference video software. So in light with moving all the classes to a remote platform, University of Washington provides all staff, students, and faculty with a Zoom professional account. There are benefits to uh, scheduling recurring meetings for your classes or for your meetings. First, you can set up specific settings in advance. Second, you don't have to set it up every time. Third, there's an additional feature is called polling if you use a pre-scheduled meeting. And lastly, you can invite attendees to the meeting in advance using either the meeting ID or a link to the meeting. Now, let's go to the web page of Zoom. So since um, we have a professional account, we assess Zoom using this URL, um, uw.edu. And then from here, you can click and sign to standard UW Zoom. You have all the information already. Um, you have your personal meeting ID. Uh, there's a sign email because my account associates with uh, UW uh, email. Capacity for our um, account is we can host up to 300 attendees. So in order to schedule a meeting, click on schedule a meeting. And here you have the topic for your meeting. Let's say I'm preparing to teach my calculus one in the spring using Zoom. So I have this uh, meeting calculus one spring 2020. And the descriptions can be, this is a remote attendance class for Calculus 1 um, Spring 2020. Okay. When I know that our class started in March 30th at 3.40, but I say 3.30, 10 minutes in advance, p.m. Class durations is two hours. I want to set it as a recurring meeting. It's not daily. It should be weekly. Uh, and Monday, Wednesday is my schedule. The end date should be in June 19th. I don't require registrations because I'm just going to send email um, invitation to my students. I don't require a meeting password. For video host, I would have it on. Participant, I would have it on. Audio, I would have it both, right? Telephone or computer audio. Um, you can dial from United States of America. Meeting options, you, I'm allow students to uh, join before the host. I sh want to mute participants upon re entry because um, you don't want to have a lot of voice uh, going around in background. Um, by doing this, you can control um, that you will be the one who's uh, talking first. And then you let your students or, or your colleagues talk later because you are the host. And I record the meeting automatically in the cloud. Um, because if, again, if you have professional Zoom accounts, you um, can record your meeting in the cloud and they provide um, more features such as they have uh, subtitles, they have captions and sub subtitles for your video, which is really nice. So alternative posts, if you have any, you can put their um, emails um, in here, but I don't have it right now. So let's double check everything's correct. And I would save it.
this point I have I set all the setting have all the settings set up in advance and if I want to invite students or colleagues to this meeting I would just copy this URL and send it to them or there's a copy of invitations here you can uh, copy these invitations and it shows all the recurring meetings here when right um, if you and then this it shows like detailed instructions for students or for uh, colleagues who wanted to join this meeting there's a link url here there's meeting ids here if they want to call using phone there's a phone number so you can call in here and everything is provided in this invitations so you can copy email invitations meeting invitations send it to you them um here okay or you can just um copy this link and send it to um, students all right now let's start this meeting 